Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Yes, I'm breathing, shockingly enough. And I'm going to start going back to making videos. They're going to be short. They're going to be sweet. Apparently, a lot went on while I was sick. But um, I, <laughs> I'm unable to catch up on everything. So let's just go with what we've got. And let me just say a big thank you to all of my followers. This, this has been one of the worst experiences of my life. There's nothing scarier than the inability to breathe. Three trips through the emergency room. Uh, I'm on oxygen, or I was. I, this has just been the worst. And you guys, your messages and comments went so far in keeping up my spirits. And I just want to say for that, thank you. So here we go, my first video since getting sick. Let's jump right in. So let's just do a quick video here about this movie, this Lifetime Harry and Meghan movie. Because again, they're gonna say they had nothing to do with this, but it's pretty obvious that they did. In this movie, this Lifetime movie, William is cast in a bad life and basically they're claiming that William knew about the racism but refused to respond to it. You know, one of the things in this movie that I found absolutely disgusting, and no, I did not watch it, was let's not forget that Megan was claiming she was suicidal at the, about the same time in her pregnancy that supposedly Diana was suicidal with William. And she's claiming that, you know, the, the paparazzi are trying to kill her. Well, actually, Harry made that claim, remember? And they were going to kill her because she wasn't white. Remember that? The point is, Harry was pretty clear that his mother was killed because she was dating Dodi Fayed. And in this Lifetime movie, there's apparently a scene that shows Megan dying in a car accident. Don't tell me that they had nothing to do with this movie because, my God, they did. Now, the other thing I wanted to discuss is the fact that the Oprah interview, which we all know was a bunch of lies. It's already been debunked. We know it was lies, but apparently it's been nominated for Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series. That just shocks me. It should have been fiction because so much of it was proven to be bullcrap. So the discussion is, will she ask Harry and Meghan to attend with her as her guests? Personally, I think it would be hilarious if she invited them and then she didn't win. I, I would love that. And finally, the last thing I want to discuss is the fact that Harry and Meghan have now requested a meeting with the Queen. Let me see if I've got this right. I want to make sure I got this right. They left the royal family. They promised to uphold the values of the royal family. They did not. They called the royal family racist. They did interview after interview. Dax Shepard, the me you can't see, the, the Oprah interview. They trashed the family at every turn. The family did not do what Harry and Meghan thought. They did not apologize. They cut them off from all information. So little by little, they've been closed down. They requested a baptism for their daughter, but Elizabeth, the Queen and, and Charles have to do the mood of the people. The people don't want to pay for a baptism for this daughter. They're not interested in these two anymore. They have hit their lowest low, and no, they're still pushing, even though they've been told no, for a Windsor Castle christening for the baby. And I wonder what the sugars think of this. I mean, the sugars have to be wondering why they want to see the queen. Why do they want their daughter baptized in this family that they've told everybody is a racist piece of crap? And after everything that they've done to the queen this year, after everything, just the nerve that they have to even make that request just shocks me. Just absolutely shocks me. Obviously, I'm hoping that there is no meeting. I'm hoping that they tell you know, Harry and Meghan, there will not be a christening at Windsor. They can do it right there in California. No, there's not going to be any money shots of the baby with the queen, which is what I think they want. And I also have a sneaking suspicion that they have promised royal family access to Netflix, and that's not coming about. So I, I think that's why they're pushing so hard to get there. Anyway, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget you can email me. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell. I'm going to start putting up videos on a regular basis. And as always, you guys, have a great day.